Welcome back to Zoo Desia Zoo, where we have little Iris hanging out in the garden with Nightlock this morning. Oh, it's just so cute. She just popped up here all of a sudden asking for some food. So I gave her some of the chicken rice and apple that we just picked up from the gourmet doggy food place. Look at that tail wag. Mm -hmm. I think that somebody likes her chicken rice and apple gourmet dog food. But today is a very, very, very exciting day in the zoo. We are going to head over to Dr. Nami's Cove as soon as we whip up some night vision potions. And I am going to show you guys what you, you have done for the zoo. So if you remember on our last Saturday special, we made it so that you guys can leave us fish. Fish! You can leave fish here in the cove, which is so exciting. And so everybody who dropped off a, like a like ended up leaving a fish. So the cove is now full. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The cove is full with over 500 fish! 500 fish! That is so many fish! It actually looks like a beautiful, beautiful marine reserve like it's supposed to now so that people can go in there. They can sip some night vision potions, swim among the hundreds of fish. The pleosaurs are thrilled. I think Nami and Nemo are definitely kind of eyeing each other up going, maybe we should start a family, which is exactly what we wanted. We just need to build some little islands in the middle for them and hopefully they will actually start a family all on their own, which would be very exciting. Ah, but today we need to provide homes for all of those little fish fish that we have put in. And we're going to do that by taking all of our glowstone and putting it and a whole bunch of like the kelp and the coral reef that we can get from Dr. Nami. In fact, do we have some coins left over? We do have quite a few coins left over from our little trip uh, visiting everybody over in the Village of Light, which is so fun. You guys love it when we do the economy stuff. I do too. Iris does too because it means you get some doggy gourmet food treats, don't you, Iris? She's so cute. It's kind of surprising that she popped up here all on her own. She is still in attack mode though, so I guess she's getting kind of like maternal. She's really sticking around, but don't worry. Maybe your mom will come back to visit one day. All right, let's see what's going on over here. I can't help it. I love my delicious essence berries to start the day. It's like the most perfect breakfast food to get you going and ready for an exciting day of adventures and animal caretaking. All right, Iris. And then there's there's that little spot up there. It's doing good. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to pop over and visit Bella to make some more night vision potions real quick. All right, so we just need to mix up some new night vision potions, Bella. I believe I have used up all my old ones. Yeah, I am pretty darn sure I drank all my old ones. But that's a good thing, Bella, because now I have some empty glass bottles that I can bring you. All right, then let's swap out the coin purse. We're going to keep the coin purse on us for a little bit because we're going to need to go and speak with... Oops. I didn't know you could empty the water out of there. I'm sorry, Bella. I will, um, I will very quickly refill... Your little, your little stay. Oh, where'd my buckets go? Meow. Buckets, there you are. Oh, don't. I know, I know. She like gave me a very cranky meow just there. Like, excuse you. I'm sorry, Bella. Next time, I'll come over to the, and gather rainwater for the potions instead. I apologize. Let me refill your little cauldron. There you go, Bella. I promise not to mess with it again. That's your, that's your test cauldron. I understand. Um, let's see. That's a splash potion. Oh, are these night vision potions? Sweet! I actually don't have to brew up some new ones. I'll just borrow these ones. Sweet. I think we only need like four. That should be plenty. But okay, okay, Bella. I will replenish your stock. I know it would be very rude if I just wandered off. She's a very strict cat, but I mean, we're dealing with mega chemicals here. Exactly, Bella. Exactly. So let's just go ahead and we will at least get it started so that she can brew up her potions. But thank you, Bella. All right, let me grab the dogs. I think that they would actually very much... Eh. Eh. There we go. Doors being stubborn on me. Take that doors. Take that gates. All right, Iris, come on. Let's go get tea and all the rest. Come on now, gates. I'm watching you. Hmm. But yeah, let's go get the other animals because I do think that our loyal canine companions should be with us as we spend a little bit of time uh, hanging out, having fun. <gasps> That's right. I remember now, Lily, one of my dogs, stole the sit, play, and stay stick. So where is my command block? Where is my command block? I am going to make my puppies fork over. The heck? I even lost my command block. I bet one of the dogs picked that up, too. Where are my other dogs? I need to... Where's the whole crew? Let's see. Um, oh, there we go. Here's a stick. 
Here's an oakwood plank. I'm gonna see which one of my puppies has my stick. All right, here's Iris. Iris, why are the other dogs not present? Did I leave them over by the Village of Light? Oh dear. Well, let's go get them really quickly, but I really wanna show off all of our new fish. But this is, this just is not, not acceptable. Forgetting my puppies in a spot that I don't remember. That's, that's bad parenting. That's bad puppy parenting. How are our deer doing? Oh man, doesn't that just look awesome, you guys? I love the look. Look, you can see the baby fawns. Oh, here's Thicket. Hey, Thicket. If I had a little treat to give you, I so would. All right, there's No, the Bun Bun. And all the other Bun Buns vanished again. I'm really suspicious. Like I keep saying, we're gonna have to teach uh, Flora and Fluffy Bunny Kung Fu. Oh, Iris, you're so silly. All right, so let's see, where the heck have my dogs gone to? This is not like them. Oh, look, a free range hen egg, sweet. Ah. Pine, oh baby. What are you doing over here, starving half to death? Hold so, oh, there's Tate. Pine, come here, I'm trying to feed you. Pine, there you go, sweetheart. Lily, okay, there everybody is. They like, they were just all chilling out. Oh, look, another free range hen egg, pretty sure. Free range hen? Free range hen? Nope, just a random hen. Alright, Tate, gotta make sure you're all full up. Oh dear, I just walked up to that chicken with chicken in my hand. That's always awkward, in my opinion. Alright, that's not a free range hen either. What about you? I've got a lot of random chickens wandering the zoo right now, but I have to admit, I have no problem with that. Oh, well, there it goes. Alright, guys, let's go back down. Um, I guess right now we should probably... All right, I'm gonna jump into the reptile house. That's what I'll do, to take a quick snooze. And while we're over here, let's get our precious moonworm queen out and she can help us light up some of the area. All right, let's put a little moonworm right here. And one right here. And one right here. Oh my gosh, no wonder everything spawns all the time. I, I just don't even light this area up, all right? Aim and fire! Yay! Oh, I swear. Moonworm Queen, you need your own little throne. Hey, Yogi. Glad to see you're actually staying in your, your area for once. All right, let's put you here. Make sure we light this area up and... Ba-dink! Eh, did I miss? And... Ba-dink! Eh, Moonworm? And... Ba-dink! Eh, I guess I keep missing. Whoa! Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. A little bit of a little bit of lag there. Now we're, that area is definitely well lit up. I'm sorry, sweetie. She probably was like, ah, squeezing the life out of her. All right, let's come up here. All right, pup pups. So I'm gonna take a quick snooze. Refreshing melon smoothie pine, darling. You can come inside or outside, but it's rude to stand right in the middle of the door. All right, and then let's curl up in here. We really should make it like a hammock or something like that. Ah, that's much better. Quick little server restart, quick little brain restart, and we are ready to go. All right, pup pups, come on. We are going off and we are going to build the Coral Cove. I am so excited. This is gonna be totally awesome. This is just gonna be totally, oh, I almost forgot. I need to see, um, bone meal, bone meal. Bone meal, where are you? Do I have any spare bone meal here for you? Hmm. All right, let's see what about in here. Because we need to grow the kelp, I just remembered. And to grow the kelp, we actually need a little bit of bone meal. Um, do I have some in here? What about in here? Normally, I'm really good about having like a ton of bone meal on me, but oh well. We'll just have to work on the coral reefs this time and the kelp next time, I suppose. Ah, uh, that's what I get for not being prepared. And the thing is, you have to haul bunny hunkers across so far portions of the zoo. It's, ooh, maybe I have some bone meal left over in the chest from building the bamboo forest, which turned out beautiful, in my personal opinion. Alright, let's see. Nothing in here? Really? An avocado? I have an avocado, Iris, but no bone meal. Oh, man. Alright. Hey, Jacob, don't worry, I haven't forgotten I need to move you into the panda exhibit. There's just so much to do in the zoo, as always. Alright, let's wiggle down here. And you guys, are you ready for this? You guys totally aren't ready for this, but you gotta be ready for this because kabam! Look at us! Apparently one of the fish fish died. Very sad. We can give it to Dr. Nami and figure out what kind of fish fish it is. But look at this! Look at this, you guys! Tate, don't get too excited. Um...
My plans have just been thrown out the window. Along with logic. All I did was restart the server, guys. To make it less laggy. Hey, Kelpers. Glad to see you're okay. Pine, Tate, Tate, Iris, Lily, Pine, Lily. Iris. Iris. This is a lot of dogs to feed you guys. Are you all like fine? Hello. <laughs> poisoned by the jellyfish. Um, Iris the, the second. Sit please. Not to alarm you. We appear to have more dogs now. All I did was restart the server. So I could, like, we do that all the time to just get everything fresh and, um, welcome, welcome to the family <laughs> clones of, of my my dear dogs, I did not expect a mess. Oh, look at all the tails wagging. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I didn't expect a mass um, canine cloning um, to occur like this. This is, this is more than a little, a little bit outside of what I expected to happen today. I just stepped on a jellyfish. Ow. Um... I have to say, like, my plans for the day were to show off the 500-something fish we have in this cove and to build some coral reef areas, but I see that that is going to have to wait now. Um, Iris, the other Iris, would you care to join us? Let me go ahead and empty Safari Net, put you over here too. Um, well, we're going to have to go through. Uh, you see, and do normal, normal cloned policy. Um, you see dogs, I, I happen to deeply respect all of you. Uh, I have some dog food here. Do you guys want it? Wow. Now, even though half of you are present are currently clones of the other half, I want you to know I respect all of you as individuals. Um, I take my, my well -be like well-being and care of my, my animals very seriously. I have no idea what I'm going to do now because this is a lot of dogs. I could hardly afford to feed what I had. I might need to speak with Mara. I might need to set up uh, like some sort of butcher trader, like for real now, that I can gather flesh in the nether and trade to him, because this is a lot of canines to feed. Um, huh. I'm, I'm sort of speechless. I have no idea why this happened, but I suspect that the world-rendering, world-tearing chaos that was wrought upon us back in the days when uh, Calf was jumping portals uh, and, and whatnot, and Evil Lubot was doing things. I have a feeling that may be part of it. Um, you know, kind of how the world is fragmented ever since then and seems to just fragment more. But this is a good thing, right? I mean, I guess now we could add in a whole bunch of the other dogs that, like, exist. Like, you know, this could be, this could be Ash and this could be Holly and... Uh, we could have a, we could have a Zoe and, like, an Aliyah. So we'll just add in the rest of the dogs from our Sims 4 series, uh, that we've been running, but. Yeah, I don't, I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless! <laughs> Alright, everybody, so I guess everyone's gonna help me, um, I guess if y'all wanna help me catch some fish. I'll teach you, because Pine, you're, you're a fisher dog too, aren't you? Uh, you are actually not a fisher dog, but we can assign you a point into that, Pine. I don't know, I don't know which one's which, but that's okay, because we can, we can make this work. Meanwhile, like, Tate is here. Okay, everybody, I, I'm never gonna have to worry about getting attacked by anything ever again, in my personal opinion. Um, because there's so many, <laughs> so many dogs. 
<laughs> with me <laughs> to protect me, it seems. So, um, yeah, sorry. Just kind of collecting my thoughts. Iris, wow. Oh, there's a bed, Iris, and a fossil. The things that you guys have on you is kind of amazing. Um, life has changed forever. Now, I have to say, life, is, how life has changed forever. Hey, Lily. Because I, I, it's like, it's like suddenly having an, a baby dropped on your doorstep, only this time it's four babies and they're canines and I have to feed them a lot. Okay, well that's alright guys. We've got a big happy family now. I just, I need to figure out what to do with them. Give me a little bit guys. I need to sit down. I need to be stunned. Um, Kelpers, thank you for being here. Can I give you a hug, Kelpers? Thank you, Kelpers. Thank you. Here, you want a fish, Kelpers? Can I feed you, can I feed you one of these, these fish? Just as a thank you for being here at this moment of need. Thank you, Kelpers. Oh, Kelpers ate the fish. Good job, guys. You provided Kelpers with food. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Big family. Well, I'm going to start sorting through the clones and interviewing them uh, so that we can figure out what their names and colors will be. But it looks like I now have a giant doggy family, and that means that we're definitely going to have to make some changes because my playpen is kind of small for a huge family like this. Um, can I give individual attention to all eight dogs at once? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time because this is an unexpected curveball, as they say. And I'm gonna have to deal with that. But then we'll look at our amazing fish and build a coral reef and 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 do all those things. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. Wow.